everybody. Hola, como esta? <laughs> hey, also, this is uh, Sundays with Heart with another midweek booze. Sexy Wednesday. Yeah, sexy Wednesday, everyone. And, you know, I was supposed to be on vacation this week. Yes. We were supposed to be in Mexico. Oh, Puerto Morales. I and, miss you. And, you know what? Yeah. If you can't go to Mexico, let's bring Mexico to us. Yes. Right? So we've got our umbrella. We got our... Our Infinity hotel. pool. <laughs> uh, we, you know, we got our hacienda style. I think that's visible a little slightly. And we got, you know, we got so we, I don't know. We're just, uh, yeah. So we were, yes, all. So we were supposed to be in, in, in Puerto Morales this week. Uh, we're not COVID. Thank you very much. Thank you, COVID. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Um, Married with children. Thanks, COVID. <laughs> so anyway, so here we are. And so we're like, well, it's Wednesday and she's off, obviously not working. And I'm avoiding work once again. Um, and so we were like, well, let's just like, I don't know, fire up some margaritas. Let's have some chips and salsa. I know that sounds kind of quaint, but we'll, we'll talk about that too. The simple things in life. And we had some Clunster tequila still. George Clooney. The Clunster. It's not the Clunster, it's George Clooney. And I think his name is Randy Gerber. That's um That's his partner. That's um Cindy Crawford's husband. Well, you know I was married to her for a very brief time. Cindy, Who was Cindy Crawford? Crawford. Yeah, well He's married to everyone. I, I wasn't quite it was in quite it was like a trial marriage. <laughs> but it didn't yeah, so it's like yeah. So anyways, we're what? bringing Mexico to us. Yes, and today we are trying the William Sonoma, let me see if I get this right, Blackberry Basil Smash Cocktail, mix. cocktail Tequila Mix, uh, Margarita Mix. And um, not bad. We, A little sweet for me. Yeah. Um, um, but it is good. It's refreshing. Very refreshing, mm -hmm. um, and we tried it with the recommended uh, accoutrements, yes. which was blackberries and thyme. And thyme, drinks, yes. And which uh, it's a really good drink, and we're gonna go inside in a few minutes, and we're gonna show you how to make. Yeah, these. we're gonna show you how to make it. Yeah, I think it might be a re envisioned uh, version of this drink. Um, I don't know. Is there anything else? No. I mean, it's like, oh. I wish, I mean, and you know, we have to turn down the hot tub in the summer. But, but no complaints. <laughs> and you know, it's kind of cool because like we sit here and we can look at the blank wall. And in my <laughs> mind, and in my mind. You are a blank it, wall. By the way, $9 <laughs> shirt. I know it shows, doesn't it? Nine bucks. I think it was only 50 Oh, you got, is that the one you got at? Yeah, the one I got on base. Oh, I know. Yes, this Did is the one I got on base. Oh, okay. Nine bucks on sale. And they had a lot. And plus, like me, it's nine and bucks. trust me, I got the <laughs> I got the coolest looking one in all the bunch. The rest were really bad, which tells you a lot. That looks like but, a $9 shirt. No, we sit there and we sit in the, <laughs> we sit in clothing optional infinity pool. We, we sit in there and we look at the blank wall and in my mind, I just go away. Well, especially because we're and usually I, sitting with our margaritas. Yes, and I and I pretend we're in Zoetry. Mm, that's or, our favorite place in Mexico. Yes, and because they, they have this thing where you can kind of lay in the pool with just enough water, and then kind of see the ocean. Well, the seagrass grew, so like not so much now, but you know, yeah. But, but, but the, yeah. the one we like is the Zoetry Pariso de, de la Bonita. De la Bonita. Pariso yes. de la Bonita, yes. that's our favorite one. It's in Puerto Morales. It's an amazing yes. resort. Yes. Well, I think without further ado, I think we should Well, yeah, because I'm in running out. And like, yeah, <laughs> we look, I think we should show them, like, show them what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll mix this up. Yes, I'll do it. Thank you. And then, <laughs> and then um, I don't know. And then if you're lucky, maybe, you know, we'll... Um, no. Do some clothing <laughs> optional taping. No, I'm just joking. No, that's no. actually, that's rated X, that's and actually, that's not allowed on YouTube. 
YouTube. I've seen porn on YouTube though. This wouldn't be porn. It's just like people lay, fat people <laughs> laying naked in the. Nobody pool. wants to see us. Yeah, nobody wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My tan. All right, so we're gonna go inside and make up another uh, margarita. We're gonna make up a margarita in my face. Oh, that was to quote a movie. Yeah. No, we're not gonna do that. Woo! <laughs> All right. We're back. Don't give me that face. I see that face. <laughs> I see it. Have another margarita. Stop it. You're making me laugh. All right. <laughs> so but yes, I need my margarita. So we're back again. It's Wednesday. Lounging around the infinity pool overlooking the Pacific Ocean at Porter Morales or some other imaginary place at this point in time since it's all fantasy, I guess, for us now. I mean, unless you want to go and then Trump says, oh, by the way, you can't come back to the U.S. now even though you're an American because you went to Mexico because I hate Mexico and I hate China too, but that's a whole other thing. Anyway, yeah, let's not get political anyways, here. Anyways, um, there, I said it. Uh, okay. Um, so... We were drinking the Casamigos cocktail mixer blackberry basil smash. Turn it around and hold it up. <laughs> okay, I'm holding it up. <laughs> Don't be a jerk. Jeez. Oh my gosh, stop being a jerk. I'm late. Someone all is about ready to walk off set and demand more money. Okay? Margaritas. We're making margaritas. As, as I turn the bottle. Don't be a We jerk. have the Casamigo Tequila Reposado made by the Clunster, who no longer owns it. And he sold it for an obscene amount of money, which, oh, Yeah. But it's great. So here's the thing. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix. We're gonna show you what we were we've been drinking today, and obviously someone hasn't been drinking enough. It's I know it's hard for you not to be a jerk, but let's not be a jerk. We're, we're gonna mix it up. <laughs> but here's the thing. I, we can use these, but I felt that this is almost deserves something slightly elevated. So, we're not gonna be using these. We instead are kind of gonna go the martini-ish route. Bam! And I think this and is- And those are Ikea glasses too, think, baby. Yes, these, yes, <laughs> Ikea. Um, and, I think, and I think it's as good, I think it's gonna step up this drink a little bit. So this is an idea. Now, <clears throat> in the drink, um, you just, it calls to simply plop in a blackberry and a sprig of thyme. And, and, and so I got to thinking and I was like, let's make these little kind of blackberry bombs with a little bit of sprig, right? That's cute. So if you can, if you can imagine the dirty olive, I like, you know, extra dirty. So two, three olives. Extra naughty. Extra naughty. Through two, three olives on a, on a, on a um, toothpick. Um, this would be about the same thing. So it's kind of like a little uh, uh, blackberry and thyme bomb. And you'll see how that goes in. Um, so so I did create those. So Yeah, I like my dirty martinis extra naughty. Yes. So let's, yes. And Vintage in Albuquerque makes great extra naughty dirty martinis. So ingredients for this, <laughs> real quick. Um, you, one of these mixes... A Casamigo, or a Posado, or the uh, or the Blanco, or the Blanco, your choice. You could substitute again. Like I said, this was a little bit of a pricey tequila. Yeah, it was like forty five dollars. <sighs> forty five bucks, yeah. So for that special someone, not you. Maybe not necessarily just your friends, like from next door. Like, <laughs> okay. Um, and then we. This is the old standby. We, you know, we kind of. Over the years, all these different tequilas that we had, and we kind of start, we, we, I don't know if it's an age thing, um, but as we get a little older, um, we start coming back to this because, you know, the old silver, it's, it's... Well, a lot of people's philosophy is, is that why dilute the tequila? 
when you're making a margarita so why add all these different flavors to the tequila because right. you're kind of ruining the expensive tequila because nice right. tequila is a sipping tequila you're not supposed to shoot it you're supposed to enjoy right. it and sit back and relax so a lot of purists say that you don't want to if you're going to make a margarita or some kind of cocktail with right. tequila in it you don't want to use expensive tequila because right. it wastes the the tequila right. and so jose cuervo the the silver is just our go-to for yes. making margaritas yeah. and i i don't know it's just a little because the Casa Amigos is a little bit a little more easier. of a sipping you can drink tequila. It more all day long. Yeah. Um, so ingredients, right? So this, this, you need. So, so what is suggest? This is a basil smash, and you could definitely taste the basil. But what it suggests on the back is is that you um, that the accoutrements in a drink is a blackberry and a sprig of thyme. So, just any blackberries. I would, any fresh blackberries would would be fine. And any any time that you can get is fine. We, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, not that, but you know, just. Just, yeah, whatever they had at the store. The fresh cut or whatever they've got. And I think the more. Organic as organic possible. Organic as possible, especially for the time. But like sometimes it's hard to get right. organic right now. So those are the other. So those are the four, four, yeah, four ingredients. You just need this, these two items, the black <laughs> and the, the, the sprig. What, and then, and then, all right, you need glasses, obviously, and you, you know. And then, <clears throat> so I had this, okay, so we have a friend, um, Elise from Chile del Sol, and she has a myriad of products. And, and we've talked about her before. Yeah, I've talked to, she's, she's we've used this on, the other two margarita mixing yeah. videos, and and we actually need to show showcase some of her other products yes, as well. Initially, I thought sugar, and I'm glad I didn't go that route. So this is a is her rim kicking salt, and it's a smoked paprika and chili salt. What you're not? It's not paprika. It's like a, what is it then? Read the instruct. read the label on the front. I can't read it, I'm <laughs> blind, I don't. I think it's kosher salt and red chili. Kosher salt, red chili, and whatever. Get it, it's awesome, okay. So, and I, and I, so initially I thought sugar, like a little bit of sugar, but we, after this first round, we knew it was gonna be too sweet, and this is another thing. We're gonna add another ingredient here to kind of, um, We'll cut the sweetness cut a little bit. Cut the sweetness bit. down a little bit. Yeah. So <clears throat> we're so the rim kicking salt by Chili Del Sol. So I think really at this point I'm boring you. So where we're gonna start um, is we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and try to rim these as best we can. Um, I am not a trained bartender, y'all. So, that looks good. And we don't like a lot. Like you know how sometimes. When you go to like, I don't know, what's those Mexican restaurants in town? The big, the big one. Um, Gardenos? Gardenos. And you're like, margarita straight up on the rocks, please. Would you like salt? Or yes, like El Pinto yeah, or any of the other And local. here you are with like, Sadie's. I don't know, like half the salt mine on the edge of your glass. Right? <laughs> yeah. We don't, um, right? And then, so. We yeah, got, so that's a, that's a right level of salt. Yeah, we don't like a lot. Let me throw this over here. And then I... Where did my scooper? I will, because it gets two parts, I'll throw a little ice in. We, that might be a little bit much. We like our drinks pretty cold. If, uh, if it's supposed to be cold, we want it cold. If it's supposed to be hot, it's hot. By the way, don't ever drink a warm can of don't marble say it. cerveza. Oh, don't say it. That was. <laughs> yeah, it was. That was a bit of a mistake. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna, and then again, uh, mixing. You can follow directions, or you can live unscripted. Do you have like, some ice in the shaker? I will. Okay. You can live unscripted, like I do, and just don't bother. He he's so scripted, y'all. Don't don't let I him don't even, BS just, you. What? You write everything down. Where's your to do list for the day? 
What? I got the dog poop. That that's my point. Oh, that's my point. Bring in the trash can. That's my point. You have um, a to-do list to pick up dog poop and to take out the trash. Yes. And I okay. And then we're see now you're throwing me off and then I need my <laughs> so and then and then Did um, you put ice in the shaker? Yes. Yeah, so okay. You, Missed that part. Someone's micromanaging everything to be. Talk about scripted productions. So <laughs> A full shot. I if you're mixing for two, like you could just do two. Well, it's it's supposed to be two, and that's a two ounce thing. So yeah, I do like just, maybe a little half and a, another splash. Wow, well, what? Put another splash in there. There you go, another splash. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's one of those. It's, this is the COVID event. So then we're gonna shake it, obviously. Shake it good, shake it good. And we did decide that... No, you don't put that there. No, 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 no. Well, I guess you could put it there. Usually you put it at the top. But that'll work. I start by putting it at the top and inch my way in deeper and deeper. <laughs> oh my God. Slow, steady, and firm. We pour... We pour the drinks, making sure that oh my gosh. it gets all the way to the bottom. You started it. <laughs> okay? We really do try to keep our show PG-13. I know. PG. It's, but then again, that's C. Okay, so that's just like a little cricket, I guess. Huh? There you go. So kind of a margarita on the rocks, and then we just go ahead and drop one of those blackberry bombs in there. And oh, and I forgot to show you on real quick, super easy. Wash your berries, wash your twig. <laughs> oh I my do, god! All I, and I try to get, if you can see, I try to get the stiffer ones, a little bit thicker ones, because you know there's. Like, I mean, that might work, but it is kind of limp and a little soft. <laughs> oh, my God. Get a little God. bit harder one. And you literally. Oh, my goodness you gracious. You literally, look at that. You just, you slow and firm, and you just one <laughs> long, deep thrust, and there you go. <laughs> Blackberry time bomb for your, for this particular drink. And you probably, I could see this with, with, if there's a berry, um, a berry mixed, um, for my thumbnail there. Very mixed vodka of some sort. I don't know. So here well, you go. There's, a, there's probably an infused, <clears throat> a berry infused vodka that would probably work. Yes. So here you go. And this is it. So the other thing that we're going to just, and this is just, just so. Here we go. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's simple. Again, it's simple. It's easy. Um, it, it's going to run you. It kind of conservatively speaking, it's going to run you about what? Well, let's see, forty-five and twenty-five. So it's going to run you just under a hundred dollars with everything you see here to make these really fancy uh, margarita drinks. And and it, but it's money well spent. And again, maybe not for your neighbors, maybe not for your boss, but you know, definitely for someone you're kind of interested in. Um, and Leanne and I are hungry. And like, as we said before, so we're going to do, so one of uh, everybody's favorite is chips and salsa. No big secret here. Um, we do, the one thing we like to do uh, kind of makes it a little bit special. Um, you know, obviously going out to restaurants, a pain in the ass these days. So we, I like my chips kind of, you know, I like them fresh out of the oven. You know, a fresh auto fire, depending on what. what and one of these days, I'll make fresh tortillas. Yes. Because I know how to make them now. Maybe I'll make um, tortilla chips too. Yeah. So we, so we started. We've been doing this on and off over the years, um, and this recently because of this whole thing. We started. Um, started. So we just put them in the oven, um, just to heat them up. You know, just give them a little electric snap, crackle pop, right? And then, of course, obviously, you know, we're not going to hand make anything this time, I and mean, you know, because we just want to chow And you don't, that's part of our show, you don't always have to hand right. make things. You can buy things, but elevate them by adding right. fresh time. Right. So, I, th 
again, a lot, again, exactly. Like a lot of this is, is less about materials, i.e. cost, things, this and that. Maybe more about presentation. I mean, you know, <clears throat> like this plate was gotten at, we got this at the thrift shop at Kirtland Air Force Base. We got we got this for I think it was like, like five bucks, six dollars, five Probably bucks, something like 25. that. So thrift store shopping, you can find great little things. We you know we have this whole thing up here of, of different salsa and 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 food presentations. We got stuff in the closets, whatever. Um, it's, some of it is the love that you put into it, like the presentation. Sometimes I'll put it in like a wood bowl. With, with, you know, we have a wood bowl up there. Sometimes I'll put like the chips in like a, in a, we had this other wood bowl and I'll have like different salsas and stuff. And I'll have like, like, a, like a napkin, you know, a, a cloth napkin to kind of make it look like, kind of like, it's like, I don't know, like something you would get in, in, in the fifties. Um, you know, so it's about presentation. And so anyways, quickly moving on, right? And so we like to kind of warm our chips up, just adds a little zing to it, kind of makes them crispy, brings them back to life. Um, one of our favorite products and, 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 you know, pretty mainstream product, but it's a great product is the Herdez. 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 Um, the salsa casser, casera. Salsa casera. And we like the hot. Yes. Yes. We like everything spicy. So again, I mean, it's not, you don't have to sit there and spend hours. And the reason why we <clears throat> buy the cans is because, um, you don't necessarily want it to, because it can go bad really fast once you open yes, it. Salsa, so we yes. buy the small cans Can because you. that way, if we don't have salsa for a couple of days, it doesn't go bad and we don't waste it. Yes. Yeah. And, and you know, like I said, it's like, you and know, they do special. make the air des, they do make the air des in a jar. But like I said, yeah. if you don't use it every day, it can go bad really quickly. It's like I said, right. The special someone call, Hey, you know, like, can we come over and Netflix flicks and chill? Right. And you're in your mind and you're like, I really like this person. So like, you're like, I got chips, I got salsa. I got, I got some basic. So here you go, right? This is like a simple, easy, um, this is the other product. Oh, this stuff is really good. We love this. This is the, the Herdez uh, guacamole, guacamole salsa. salsa. And this one's a mild. It's not mild. It's not mild. No, it's not mild. It's the hottest. <laughs> um, we like hot. So, <clears throat> um, Cause I mean, I can smell it from here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and you could, if you want it, if you, if you kind of. Oh, we have some dried cilantro. We, oh. Right there. Dry, yes. That's, uh, no, I don't want it basil. Where, uh, that's basil right there. You just basil. had it. Uh, Oregano, you just had it. Where is the parsley? There it is. Okay. <laughs> so, you know. I don't know why I you're mean, putting parsley on. Just, I want to put cilantro. We had dried cilantro. You can do cilantro. I'm just doing, I'm doing this just to, so that people know. You can add a little bit of. This I is, would have used dried cilantro yes. because it goes better with what so we're having. So it's just to uh, add. As you guys know, we argue all the time. <laughs> Later on, let's go back in the pool and go for a long swim. Yeah, why don't you? <laughs> Excuse me, folks. Hold on. Just one more. Oh, my God. That's good. That's going to go down fast. I'm going to need it. You're going to like this, Leanne. This makes perfect. I knew that I had to put this at the bottom because it was going to percolate up and through the drink versus it being on top would have just tasted exactly like that with a little bit of flavor. You see that? Yeah, that's good. So... I think that's it. So, well, and then we got to, so taste test. Do you want to come back over here? Yeah. And we'll do this drink taste yeah. test. And, um, yeah, but, so there we go. I mean, this is, there you go. Hey, you just, hey, hey, baby, I was wondering if. Move your hand so I can get a thumbnail. Okay. Hey, baby, I was just wondering if I could come over. Maybe we could play some video games or something. We can hang out, watch a couple of movies or whatever. Sure, come on over. Boom. Boom. She walks it. They walk in the door, he, she, we don't judge, we don't care. They walk in the door and it's like, hey, can I get you something? He's like, oh, I'll just take a water. He'd be like, well, would you like a drink? And they're like, yeah, what do you got? And you're like, hold on. And then you just do this, right? You're in the kitchen. 
Like, you know, like making like, it's like, you know, and stuff. And then you bring this Oh my God, you're such boom. a dork. <laughs> Probably won't even make it through the whole movie, y'all. And you might not even get through, in, through, what is it? The first chapter? First phase Epis one of the video game. Ep I'm just oh, saying, okay. yeah. I'm just saying, and then you might say, hey, let's, um, Let's go out on the balcony and uh, take this out on the balcony and just make fun of my neighbors. <laughs> it's like defining races and stuff. Let's watch like that couple argue in the parking lot. Whatever. Right? <laughs> so there you go. So you, if you're, if you're done with the judgment, get over here. Let's, <laughs> and then you can judge the drink. How about that? <coughs> All right. I'll give you something to bitch about. You can bitch about the drink. All right. Whether it's good or bad or. All right. Okay. We got yep. Deal? Yep. Yeah. And all right, so I'm on this side of the camera now. <coughs> yes. Are you done judging me? <laughs> so we're gonna taste the drink. Uh, I... <laughs> Get over here so you're in the camera. I, I'm afraid to. So, so it... this is <laughs> tasting. So taste it. I'm gonna taste it. I'm afraid to. <laughs> so, no. I do like the blackberry taste, and you can definitely taste the basil in it. It's got a very good basil flavor to it. Um, I could see this with, who you know what this would taste good with? With like some kind of um, oh, mahi-mahi grilled something with rice. Yes, like a... Hmm. This would actually be good, like if you go to a restaurant that has um, uh, grilled mahi mahi with maybe some coconut sauce. You know that that Tahitian coconut sauce. This would go really good with it. Yeah, or like an like maybe like an orange glazed, very light orange glazed sea bass. Sea bass. I definitely see fish with this. With. Could, you could almost go some uh, a light peel off, like orange yes. glaze, <gasps> sea bass with a light gonna... rice peel off, and oh man, like vegetables. What would I? Those that mix I don't, that mix um, veggies that you did the other day for the Tahitian. Just the, a, the, the straight, the squash just and a the straight carrots. up green, yellow squash and onions. Yeah, and that, would, that, that would carry over. That would be good. Um, I am some of the time in the drink itself, take some of the leaves off and put it in the drink. It really pops it up. On that, yeah, man. I might actually just go with the. I might actually start that meal off with with it with some sort of French glazed, uh, French dressing salad. Skip the vegetables on with the main meal and just do the fish and the rice, and then. And then finish that and finish that meal with like oh man you could do like like kind of like a, a oh I'm like trying a to creme think brulee of like, or you could do a creme brulee you could do like a um oh man I'm trying to think of what or a panna cotta or something yes that's what I was kind of maybe something like that so taste it with the time but, the time in it so yes boss <laughs> um so Barry obviously uh, you definitely get you definitely. It's very subtle. You definitely taste. You could definitely get that basil and the and and the blackberry off of the off of that, uh, and and in in the mouth. Yes. Um, Doesn't the time kind of make it pop a little bit? It does, and so does the rim kicking. Yes. Salt, um, because there's a bit of that smoke saltiness hitting that sweetness, um, and yes, the time makes it pop. It, de it definitely, yeah. Yeah, I think it makes it really good. Um, and then, I don't know, let's just, you know, let's just do a quick, let's try it with, with a, with a, we don't have any napkins here, let me grab something. <laughs> oh, and I love warm chips. Mm -hmm. They're still warm. I mean. It um, takes just a few minutes at like 250 in your oven. Yeah, 275, like, like, yeah, and, and no and judgment. They're just I mean, store -bought. Uh, oh, they're store -bought we and this is, yes, and this is like kind of our new, it's like what we like now. 
Right. It, they're the the Colido brand. Colidad. Sorry, Kali my bad. Colidad. Uh, yellow corn. Um, and I don't know why. I just I started buying those. They're I think they're about fifty cents cheaper than everything else. And quite frankly, I think they're better. And I'm sure there's people out there laughing, going, "Oh, oh damn, gringos! That's like the cheapest chip you can get in Mexico." But, but um, they're really good. But they're really good. I mean, I'm a Cretan a little bit. Let's see. Probably not. I'll come back over. So that really goes. It really does. It's um. Let's try this one. Why does it taste mild today? Usually it tastes hot. It's been... I'm standing next to me, baby. <laughs> Everything's kind of mild when I'm around. Mildly offensive? <laughs> you can't say I don't spice your life up a little bit. Yeah, he does. Yeah. So anyways, mm. where are we going here? I don't know. So, I guess what we're saying is, um... When you can't go on your vacation, bring your vacation, bring your vacation to you. Yes. Um, get a bottle of that or any of the other mixes That's that they got. That's about $20 at Williams-Sonoma. Get a bottle of the cleanser. George Clooney. The cleanser. Casa Amigos. Casa Amigos. Grab a bag of Colidad chips. Grab some Hernandez salsa and... and Herdez. Herdez. I don't know why I would say Herdez. Oh, as well, I think I have trauma from that. That's why I heard it. So <laughs> Airdes uh, products are great, um, and you know, throw those chips. It, yeah, just make it simple. Keep it simple. Keep and it our, sexy. And our chili del sol rim kicking salt. You yes. Get that. And for when that moment turns into, let's go to the bedroom. Learn a little bit of Cyrillic. Oh my Learn God. a little bit of Arabic. PG PG. And. <laughs> We didn't, we're not and I think you've got the makings of a perfect, hey, let's Netflix, net, let's Netflix <laughs> and chill or watch a movie evening, I think. Speaking of Cyrillic. <laughs> My gosh. All right, people. Please subscribe. Please uh, like our Love video. us or hate us. Give us a false sense of hope and like us, but then really just like secretly like want to watch us crash and burn at the very end. We are train um, wrecks. We've yeah, never, we are. We've never said we weren't. This shirt is a train wreck. Look at this. It is a train wreck. How did you ever talk me into buying this? I didn't. What kind of you, freak you, are you? You said, honey, can I buy this? When we were at the store. Yeah. Well, they had that one with like all the pink and then it had like... A penguins all over it or something and flamingos. a dolphin. Was it a flamingos? Yeah, I think it was. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, so what are we? So it's Wednesday. Gonna make it through all this. Um you know what? Bartending, shout out to to our best oh! friends. Joe from the Soch and Beto and Jameson, and Jameson from, from FX. FX. We miss you guys. And so any of the other much. any of the other, but those are our those are our bartenders. Uh, any of the other bartenders we that we didn't guys. mention, we love you too. Um, we're going to make it through this. Our doors are always open. Um, I don't know. What else? I mean, we love you guys. Say. Love you guys. Sexy Wednesday. Live. Love. <laughs> love. Lust. And laugh. He's Be even a starting to mess up his. Quote. And I haven't even started drinking. Well, we have a little bit, obviously. Not that much. I mean, this is our second one. Ooh, do these ring? Oh. These, we'll are, do these are Ikea. They're Ikea. Do these ring? Oh. No. No. Oh, maybe because they're way open. I think they're too open. They just, yeah. It's a, I don't know. No. <laughs> But they're great glasses. We've had them forever. They're a great basic martini glass. Ikea. Again, I don't know. We can't. What, what is our thing with Ikea? I mean, we are going to do a champagne one sometime. Yes. Okay. But it, but it, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what else is? We're train wrecks. Bye. Love you. Love you all. Bye.